today I'm joined on my sofa this time by the one that only gets aka right? ghetto aka gh <laughs> how are you how are you yeah thank you for coming today it's, it's a pleasure for me it's a pleasure for me you know what let me just tell you guys i i'm, I'm a big fan like from, it but just it but just a normal interview for me you know is yeah i'm a big fan i'm a very very big fan and um one of the first things i was gonna ask you because obviously you're from east london Plateau. Yeah, yeah. that's where i'm from oh, you're from there as well yeah i'm from there i'm from there do you still go back home and everything yeah yeah I've, I've never seen you. <laughs> Why have I not seen you? <laughs> you know how funny this is. You know, you know what I'm laughing. You're gonna make people think that I don't go to the ends. No, no I've never seen you in my life. Honestly, like, I'll probably probably catch you outside, but I've never seen you in my life in in Glasgow no, at no. all. No. I'm a bit old to be on the on the corners. Oh, you can't be doing that no more. Too old for that. Oh, so you're whipping around the corner this still yeah. on two feet. Yeah. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Like, how was it for you to grow up in Boston? What was like one of your best memories, worst memories? Um, best memories, I'd say. Uh, Beckton got like Graham Beckton Grove and like the youth club. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not obviously not just plaster, kind of custom house, but it's all. Yeah, yeah. So do you like? Do you still rep East and everything? Is East still the place where you say, "Listen, this is my, this is my area. I would never leave." Of course, I would. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> you're nuts. You're nuts. <laughs> I would never leave. <laughs> well, you would leave. Yeah. Oh, you're rude. You're I've rude. Left. I've left. You've left. Yeah. <gasps> No, the aim, that's the aim though. That's no. what we can't be friends. That's not the aim, no. No, I'm joking, it is. No, no, yeah, yeah. I do, I do, I do. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with being content. Mm. Is that I'm cool not. where you are, yeah? No. <laughs> no, but you know what, yeah? Like, like, listen, I, I was still, like, this is still in my heart, innit? Yeah. And plus, it's still in my heart, so that's why. But yeah, you would, you would leave. I don't, I don't blame you for leaving. Yeah, that's why we don't see you no more. No, you said you've never seen me. I've never seen you. Exactly. In my life. <laughs> so why music? Why do you think music was your calling? When did you start thinking that like, this is for me? I'm a late star. I started at um, 1920. That's, okay. That's quite late. Mm. MCs are to start. Yeah. Uh, people were saying when, uh, when I was spitting, they can, they can visualize what you're saying. Yeah. So I to just... Mm. I ain't never killed anybody, but I've wanted to. A lot of close calls. I love the ends, but I wanna like with you and you've got such a distinctive voice. Yeah. So you can tell like from day like a, a GH track, like you could tell it was you on there. Like what do you think makes apart from your voice as well, what else do you think makes you stand out from other musicians? Um, I don't know, man. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think is the most annoying thing for you, like being a musician? Is there anything that annoys you? Um. But sometimes the, the the politics of music can can, can mess with the individual's creativity. Mm. I'd say just sometimes the politics of how the actual business runs yeah. can, can mess with the creativity. But when you just want to get a studio and go out mm. and make good music, that you yeah. want to listen to over and over again, mm. the politics can get kind of messed up. And do you mean politics as in like just people talking rubbish or? Oh, no, no, no. Nothing like that. Just, um, I know sometimes it's kind of, um, I guess, yeah, in the mainstream view of things, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to make music that we make and yeah. that kind of be successful. Yeah. So kind of have to work. Uh, Ten times harder. Which is, which is not, I'm not complaining about it, which is not a problem. You kind of learn, you learn things in the process. Yeah, it. it's true. But obviously, your music has changed. Like, even your new single now was yeah. not so new, but Rebel yeah. as well has changed from even on a level like your other track there, like a couple of years ago. So, do you feel like it's essential to change with the times and everything? <clears throat> no, it's just a. It's just something with me, like I get I get bored pretty easy. And mm. I, I like listening to my own music and uh, yeah. I've kinda of realised along the way that 
because the more kind of different musicians that I meet, they bring something different out of me. Yeah. So like I'm, I, like I, I like rapping in it. So mm. I kind of always um, trying to master the art of it. of of spitting. So yeah. anything I can do to to kind of be out be out of my comfort zone a bit, but. Mm. still do it as well as, as something that I do in my comfort zone. Yeah. So I try and do that sometimes when I'm, I'm in the studio for hours just mm. looking for, for a sound that kind of pulls my emotional strings yeah. so that I can start writing and whatnot. Yeah, because yeah. even Rebel like is a bit more rocky yeah. than what we usually hear from you yeah. which i really enjoyed actually i think it's quite a good track i think it's a good angle for you so what kind of like influenced you to do that um well my album title was rebel of a cause um and when i when i wrote rebel it was uh, it was around the time like the, the loot and stuff was yeah it was concentrating on that a lot in the media mm. so um just, just, just having that on day in, day out. I went to studio and I wrote something like, um, just, just so people that, that that wouldn't still might just have an understanding of what goes through mm. a young man's mind like, at, at, at that moment. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to write from that perspective. Okay. So what do you think the next step is? Because I've even noticed you've got fans like in the US. Yeah. And in the UK, and everything. So, like, it does that does that throw you, or does that make you want to keep going? How do you feel about that? Mm, yeah. Just keep going, innit? Yeah. Just spreading. Mm. You know what I'm saying spreading organically as well. That's what I kind of. That's what I'm enjoying about. It, like, yeah. Um, people in different countries. Mm. Right, they listen to my music, or I've been to another country, and I've yeah. Been, like, I've conversated with them on how, how they've come across the music. Mm. It's like very organic ways they yeah. come across the music. So I believe that could make you cherish music a bit more. So if I can keep spreading like that, that'd mm. be good. And isn't it amazing like when other people from next places then yeah, they listen to you? Yeah, it's they crazy. know you are it's crazy. like how do you deal with that? It's crazy. I just kinda I just kinda crack on. Like it's kind of rewarding. Yeah. You know, it lets you know that you're doing something right. Mm. But just to crack on though, still, and, and, and stay on Yeah. And just do the, do the music, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Other than music, what else do you like doing? Uh, roller skating. Are you joking? <laughs> really? Are you good? I'm right, yeah? I'm what, do you have like professional skates and everything? Yeah. And what? I could never visualise you did that. A what, do you go to like that. roller disco and that? Yeah, well, before but, but I swear that you go really this guy. Before, before it got like proper bait, I was I was going there quite a bit. Are you joking? <laughs> no. Can you do it backwards? Yeah. What? Can you do the split? I'm from a like I'm from the skating era. Like, <laughs> like, like, like that means when I was a kid, like I was skating. Oh like, my god! It's something I enjoy now. That like, sometimes if I'm if I'm brain dead. Yeah. Like when I'm writing, I'll just go for a skate or something. Like Is it? Night, like two in the morning or something. Wow. So do you think it calms you down or something? I don't know, man. It's just, it's just therapeutic. That's yeah. Just, that's so I'm, I'm, from, I'm from Jamaica and Grenada. Yeah. Represented Jamaica, mm. of course. In Jamaica and Grenada. Mm. Like people think I'm from um, Ghana. People Probably am also. What, from Ghana? Because, see, like, back in the day, I said it's in Ghanaian to, to, to Jamaica. So. I heard it was Nigeria to Jamaica. No! Oh, God. <laughs> 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 see, my mother's over, like, is you okay? <laughs> so, I've got, like, a 60 question. Huh? I've got, not 60 questions, I mean, I've got 60 seconds. Yeah. you got to answer this question. Like, it's got to be, basically, I'm going to ask you two things, you've got to choose which one the most, yeah? But it's, with, it's within 60 seconds, so your time. You can say why you, you like it better than the other one, but your time, you just have to remember that your time, okay? <laughs> All right then, so you guys ready? Yeah, the time is on. So, the first one is, so which one would you choose, apples or pears? Apples. Chicken breasts or fries? Fries. Yeah? Breast is dry, man. Well, the breast has got a bit of juice on the nah, side. Nah, the breast is, I can't handle 
know. Don't even get me started. Half this argument is not terms. Tomato sauce or mayo? Mayonnaise. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> Benz or Bima? Benz. Dry hands or dry lips? Dry hands. <laughs> Curvy or flat? Curvy. Weave or natural? Yeah? Yeah, no, that depends. I'm not playing. I'm not See, everyone struggles with, with this one. I don't understand. You don't mind? I don't mind. Okay. Padded bra or bum pads? <laughs> None of them. You have to choose one. None of them. No, you have to choose one. <laughs> oh, one of them. None. You have to choose. Uh... No. <laughs> um, gold or silver? Gold. Thank you, guys. That's me, Siobhan. And this is the interview bubble with obviously the lovely Get who are on our sofa. Thank you very much guys, we're out.